Hello everyone, uh, here is your greeting and I will go over the homework 7 question 7. Uh, in the question 7 it says zt equal to n1t times cosine omega t plus theta and plus n2t times sine omega t plus theta. Uh, where zeta is uniformly distribute, uh, distributed in interval of 0 to 2 pi and n1t to an entity are white since stationary so n1t and n2t and zeta are all independent uh, in question number uh, in question a it's asking us to find the uh, expect value of uh, zt so according to the question n1 and n2 are uh, white since stationary so we can get expect value of n1t equal to n1t and equal to 81 and same for the Expect, expect value for n2t is equal to 81 82 so they are constant uh, to get the expect value of zt we first need to get the expect value of n1t times cosine uh, omega t plus theta plus n2t sine times sine of <coughs> uh, omega t plus theta uh, and in the next step I separate into two parts one is for cosine is expect value for cosine and another is expect value for sine and separate again one for expect value of n1t times expect value of cosine plus expect value of n2t times expect value of sine and we can get eta 1 times 1 over 2 pi integral from 0 to 2 pi of cosine theta t plus theta and derivative by uh, theta plus e to 2 times 1 over 2 pi integral 2 pi from 0 to 2 pi this uh, of sine omega t plus theta derived by t and both of this part is 0 so we can get the final value is 0 and for the part d it's uh, part B is asking us to find the uh, region of interval of T1 to T2 and to prove its DT a uh, wide stationary. To get in that, we need to get the uh, uh, range of T1, T2 equal to expect value of xt1 times xt2 and uh, transfer them into z ex uh, expect value of zt1 times zt2 and here it's saying separate them in to part one ex expect value of nt1 times cosine uh, of omega t1 plus zeta plus n2 and nt2 times t1 nt2 t1 times sine omega t t1 plus zeta and the other part is for the uh, T2 
and separate them into another function. Uh, in this function, it's like range of nt1 uh, n1 of theta times expect value of cosine omega t1 plus zeta times cosine of uh, omega t2 plus zeta and plus it 1 times it 2 times the expect value of cosine zeta t1 plus zeta and times sine of omega t2 plus zeta and the same but it's uh, mm, transfer to Rn2 and to the next step I just uh, take this uh, function into a part which is uh, right here like that mm, 1 over 2 times R1 times uh, t times uh, theta 1 over 2 pi integral from, integral from 0 to 2 pi cosine omega t1 plus t2 plus uh, 2 theta divided by theta and plus cosine omega t in here it's uh, pretty similar but Uh, and in this, uh, f to calculate this, this function of function out in here is uh, 1 over 2 times r n1 t plus r n2 t cosine omega t is equal to rn z of omega t. So, we sure you can get z t it's a y since sta stationary and for the part c it's asking us to find the r z zero if z t is y since stationary so since we already got RZ, so we just take the uh, zero into RZ, which we can get one over two times RN one zero plus RN one zero, and the final result is one over two times expect value of n times n power by two n1 power by 2t and plus expect value of n2 power by 2t that's it for the question number seven